is there problem? Is there problem? Potential problem. Problem. I'm three percent complete. Look at this. Oh, 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 Okay, you know what? You try blasting water up your asshole for three years straight. Three years straight. Three years. Look at that fucking bottom part. Bottom part. Oh, we have oh, Coppola, Scorsese, and then you have fucking Neil Breen. 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 Nobody's gonna holler at my microphone. My, 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 my. Everybody there. It's funny. It's funny. It's funny. You're listening to the Potential Problems Podcast. 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 Fuck you, pay me. Hashtag just leave it in. Just leave it in. Welcome to the podcast. My name is Alan Clark. This is Potential Problems Podcast. John Quayar here. How's it going, Alan? <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. Why are, you, why are you hiding over there? Why are you being so secretive? I'm not hiding. With your belay. Well, I heard. I heard. Did we mention Potential Problems Podcast? I did. That's what I'm talking about. Welcome to the show today, everybody. Good to see you. Um, I was not hiding. I was, I was being coy. Uh, I heard about that. You know what I heard about that beer? I heard uh, Chris Rock say something. Didn't Chris Rock shoot a, a gun at Bud Light? I think he said, I don't like Bud Light. <laughs> Chris Rock? <laughs> yeah. Chris Rock. There was that video that went on viral and stuff. Is that what happened? Yeah. It's pretty, do you remember that video? I think he did. Did he only order one Bud Light instead of a whole, whole um, case of Bud Lights? Uh, I think so. I think nice. it was something like that. Uh, that, of course, is our guest, William Wheeler. Oh, How's nice. it going, William? Oh, the best day of my life. How are you? Oh, you keep saying that. It feels kind of manic. <laughs> 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 Makes us feel like we're just uh, uh, just barely scraping by here. Um, oh, speak for yourself, Alan. This is also the greatest day of my John life. Makes John feel like, oh, oh sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I was, uh, you know what's funny is I recently... Has anybody seen uh, HBO's newest version, Incarnation, of True Detective, everybody? <laughs> Your pregnant pauses are getting better, John. I think, are they getting more artistic and less, and less constipated? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you hit us with a pregnant pause, and it's just like... <laughs> <laughs> Anyone seen True De- Detective, the most recent uh, version of the series on HBO? I did not. Okay. Uh, they do mention... I'm caught up. Are you? You seen it all? I've seen it all. Fucking liar. Really? <laughs> seen the whole damn thing. Do you remember that part when they talked about that guy who was a uh, a no good character and his name was specifically William Wheeler? <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> someone I, yeah. someone like, put, like told me about that. I was like, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. So who's this William Wheeler character in True Detective? Well, he's Is he just, a killer? Well, so far he's just the guy they mentioned. They're like, yeah, he's not a good dude. Oh. Type of guy. That's on brand. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> But you, you okay? So you you picked up on that too, Alan, right? Because I yes, was like I William did. Wheeler. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Gosh. Um, it's. I mean, it's. Uh, how common a name is William Wheeler? Uh, I, how many William Wheelers are there? More than you would think. Yeah. And you know, my full name is William Wayne Wheeler the <laughs> third. My <laughs> full name. Cool. Yeah. There was a officer in the Navy that had the same name as me, even with the third on the on the end. Really. So, no matter how hard you try, do you? You're never as unique as you think you are. Do you do the Jason Green thing where you look up other people with the same name and befriend <laughs> and add them? them? Yeah. <laughs> I have not, but that's going to be a new thing. You I should try. definitely do that. Mm-hmm. Um, I wanted to talk about your magnet. My Was magnet. The magnet you gave me the other night. Oh, it's a sticker. A sticker. But I am going to get have magnets made. Okay. Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask you. I noticed it's a fine and dandy sticker. It's a nice sticker. Alan, you see that sticker? I see that sticker. That's very artistic. It's very stuck. 
that is modern art, folks. Digital modern art. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to, <laughs> one question I did have. I noticed you're not advertising anything specific. <laughs> <laughs> Uber yeah. services or it's comedy, just an entity. birthday party. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> that's the, that's the true the beauty of it. <laughs> I'm advertising my aura. <laughs> it's just me. Yeah. Okay. I, I think enough. that's the real beauty in it because it gives it more, <laughs> it gives more, more life to the image. Uh, I am immortal. You know? No, it's not just that like you got these printed up and then you're like, fuck, I forgot to put the information. <laughs> no, that was a conscious choice. <laughs> uh, and, and, and you know what's even better about this? I actually sat and modeled for this for a couple hours. Oh, really? Yeah. You and, had to be and, painted? Yeah. This they guy couldn't... did it. Uh, the guy that did it, his name's Kevin Burke, brilliant animation artist, did this on a tablet. And uh, this was basically you the mean, like an sketch. Uh, man, couldn't just take a the picture ultra... and then sketch yeah, the picture. Yeah, have to have you it's sit not there. The same, okay. <laughs> I bet you you just did it just to fuck with you. He's all, oh yeah, I need you to sit there still for three hours. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Well, I get the tin type photo ready. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's I love the sticker. I just wanted to bring it up. Then yeah, I noticed okay. there was no specific mention of what you do, no. what you offer, I'm... how to contact you. <laughs> I, this, that, this is this is the newest version of doing some. William Wheeler shit. I'm hiding myself all over Albuquerque. Okay. I've even uh, gotten a couple of friends to help me out with this. So you, there's there's spots that even William Wheeler doesn't know where he is. There's a, somewhere, probably a few somewheres, there's a William Wheeler stick, sticker staring directly at a woman's toilet. <laughs> like someone has put it on like the stall door <laughs> and the <laughs> stall door closes and it's just your sticker there. That would be, I mean, it'd be an honor. And Maybe women would be like, I wonder who that guy is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Before everyone knew who Don Schrader was, I wanted to be the guy in Albuquerque that everyone knows, but nobody knows. Oh, kind of like gotcha. a mythical figure. Just the, the golden guy who looks like he's uh, been walking around and coated exactly. in butter. Exactly. Kind of like, like Will that. William Wallace's like legacy growing bigger than the actual man himself. Ah, William Wallace. Um, speaking <laughs> of legendary characters... I was uh, doing a show, not to brag, for the shit boys, Jared Ostrom, Tyler Lovely, Carla Vazquez, uh, who's uh, Caleb Mulkey. Mm. And I um, was doing a show for him last night, no, Wednesday night. This is downtown Albuquerque. Outpost 1706, right? Yeah, on Romero Street. Yeah. Romero! Right above Noisy Water? Yeah, and so... In um, Old Town, Albuquerque. Exactly. In the year friend. 2024. No, this okay. was last year. Fuck. Uh, no, this was a couple days ago, and um, I was walking <laughs> to my car, uh, and uh, as I was getting into my car, someone drove by, and they're like, Hey, pussy! <laughs> <laughs> and so I looked up, and I was like, Hey, what's up, man? And then I was getting into my car, and I was like, You should chase him. Just chase them. <laughs> I was like, should I? And then I was like, nah, I just want to go home. So, uh, but I was like right on the line of just doing it, just to do it. And then uh, when I was driving, getting on the freeway from downtown Albuquerque, uh, my phone rang. Uh, it's a number I didn't have saved to my phone. And by the way, do you guys have, does anybody have that bullshit where f phone numbers that aren't saved to your phone don't ring through? What kind of fucking shit is that? You, you never Did you heard not of pay this? your phone bill? What's going on here? No, 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 no. What happens is, and I don't know if it's, because I talk to a lot of patients who this has happened to, a lot of people on the phone who this has happened to, where they talk about how um, uh, someone will call their phone, but if their phone decides it's a solicit, a solicit, a sol someone selling something, <laughs> they, um, they, it forwards it automatically to like this, to their voicemail. And sometimes it doesn't even ring. Have you guys ever heard of that shit? I, no. I've experienced it on both ends, of the, both sides of the table. So oh, basically, yeah. I don't know if it's a glitch in the phone itself, the towers, or the matrix that we're living in. But sometimes, like I, just because I'm like kind of persistent with some stuff, I'll call, go straight to voicemail. I'm like, fuck that, and call. Then I call back again, like half a second later, and then it goes through. So I don't know. Okay. Well. Uh, 
I got on the uh, freeway and my phone rang, unknown number, and I picked it up, uh, answered it hands free like you should. Mm -hmm. And it was Dan Ranscone. Dan Ranscone was calling me. And he was like, hey, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, what's up, dude? How's it going? So we had a good chat. But you ever have those chance meetings with friends just out? And it seems to happen with a lot of the comedy community, right, Wheeler? Yeah, I mean, birds just of a feather flock people. together, you know. Yeah. Those, those of a like mind. You know. Yeah, the same crack house, you know. Exactly. Old sayings. <laughs> you know, sharing needles. <laughs> uh, Alan... Uh, we had the big anniversary show last week, right? A lot of fun. A little bit a of stress, a lot of uh, setup, but I wasn't uh, we stressed. got it done. Oh, I was yeah, on no, mushrooms. I noticed you were just sitting there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was on mushrooms, having a good time. Pretty good. And then, uh, yeah, you, you ended up, uh, we didn't have a video feed, but we had a great audio feed and some good camera work, and we were able to sit down with Eddie, AJ, and actually do a, a whole podcast from Dry Heat, which... Uh, uh, which is pretty damn cool. Yeah, yeah. We had to turn away like 38 people. It was standing room only. It yeah. was, was. I had to hang from the ceiling like Spider-Man, dude. He did. There was <laughs> the fire marshal was pissed. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, you, you can't have a William Wheeler sticker on the ceiling, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we don't like, even know what this is advertising. Know, you can't put this here. There could be a camera in there. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty ingenious, right? I bet you could do it too. You could like cut it in a way so that there's like a little camera in there. It's mm-hmm. your eye. Oh, I've I've cut out the body of the sticker before, where I'm just really hidden somewhere. <laughs> Put it on your dick. Oh, look, it's William Wheeler. <laughs> <laughs> but that was your 500th episode, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, it yes. happened to coincide that it was 500 episodes and 10 years. Yeah, Perfect. that's pretty nuts. I yeah. mean, who Synergy. does energy? Well, I was. I, I think I said this about Royals' ten-year anniversary. Who does anything for ten years? I know. You know, right? Um, I mean, I've been you... in my job almost twelve. Really? Yeah. Twenty-two. Call me. Call me when you get to twenty, rookie. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Are you flexing that you're old? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, what, can you think of anything you've done for 10 years ten consistently? Years. Uh, be alive three times. Oh, that's good. How do you feel as you enter your 30s? Yes. Are you 31? Uh, for the fifth time, yes. Mm. No, I'm 33. I'll be 34 later this year. It's just strange, you know. Uh, noticing one observable thing as I'm getting older is that choices will be made with or without you, you know what I'm saying? Oh, sure. Like, like your you, your destiny will either be designed or undesigned. Better to arrive at a designed destiny than one where choices were made for you, and then, oh, yeah. you, then you just have to live. You know? Yeah, you're talking like a timeshare, right? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, well, that's. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> wow, you're really uh, embellishing your pregnant pauses, John. Uh, well, it's hey, it's the age old question uh, predetermined destiny, you know, versus, uh, which is the same thing predeterminism versus free will. Mm-hmm. And um, I mean, as long as, I mean, in antiquity, people have debated this and thought about it. Basically, when man first started thinking, who am I? We started wondering, what the fuck? Who controls all this shit? Do I control this shit? Does anything I do matter? Look how big the fucking universe is, you know, or even the world at that time. And so I I, I think that's a question we've struggled with (laughs) for a long time. That was a little bit long. I think you have to keep it to a second, maybe at most, maybe a half a second. But uh, I think, Alan, right? Antiquity, since we've been asking... Um... (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> you just like you're holding in a hit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did not inhale. I'm an exhale. <laughs> I, I ghosted that shit. <laughs> uh, so anyway, um, what do you th- do? You think you can affect it at all, or do you just think we're along on the fucking wild? We're like a twig. You can try to river. push the boulder up the hill, but it's still gonna push you back down. Ah, like your like my what? Sisyphus. Sisyphus? Yeah. <laughs> I also read that Sisyphus. book. Sisyphus. I also read that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you read Sisyphus? 
Okay, that sounds like it's just a, a wet pussy. <laughs> no, that's that's just a bus. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean, this? Oh Jesus! <laughs> oh no! Stop! That's so horrible. <laughs> need a palate cleanser after that. <laughs> um, predeterminism. Yes. So uh, you're saying yes? You don't think we have any control it's over a, anything? I think it's a mixture of the two. That's what I say. Mm-hmm. I think it's close. They're, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning in to Potential yeah. Palms Podcast. No, no need to talk about it any further. <laughs> Exclamation point. Uh, you think it's a mix? I think it's a mix. Because yeah. there is a level of that you can control. Like you can control what you wear, what you drive, to a point on both 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 sides the jobs that that you can get that you're willing to get and then you know you can't really i don't i think whatever you choose to do there's never a guarantee for success but there are things you can do to increase the probability the percentage of your su- chances of success your success it's a success I'm into success. Which is <laughs> <laughs> like excess, but with sucking. <laughs> not, not, I'm, I wouldn't do the sucking. Well, I would suck a nipple. I've sucked many nipples. We've all sucked nipples, it's right? It's good to suck a nipple. Yeah, and it gets all hard in your mouth. Yeah. And you're like, yeah, it's like having a little pebble in your mouth. And depending on the person, it's a nice little cheat code. <laughs> <laughs> and then have you ever told told someone who you're like licking their nipple? You're like, hmm, I wish I had a mouthful of your nipples. <laughs> no. <laughs> you just want several nipples all in a cluster? Yeah, I wish you had ten nipples that I could <laughs> suck on at once. It was the follow-up. Then you, then you um, find yourself in that situation. This nip <laughs> sipped its last suck. I think... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> We're, now we'll transition into duct infections, okay? Nice. <laughs> um, Alan, predeterminism? Um, you know, the... Uh, just because there's so many other people influencing your day to day on different levels, you know, like you said, there's probably only so much you can do, can't do. There's people in your life that are going to die no matter what. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, whether it be healthcare related or lifestyle or some freak accident. What about- if they avoided a heart attack that was going to happen at three o'clock or at like five o'clock. Do they get in a, is it because they got in an accident at four o'clock? Is it you know you know that kind of thing? <clears throat> what about, Final destination. What about this? What if you decided just out of the blue, you're like, you know what? I'm selling all my shit and I'm moving to Europe. Seem like a good idea, or even Antarctica. Or and then it goes whatever. horribly wrong, and then no. you're broke, and then you're back home. No, no, you move <laughs> away and you're happy, but it changes your destiny completely. And you're like, did I do that shit on my own, or was that always meant to happen? Type of thing. And then I guess you could break it down to what was the impetus behind that. Did that, sh- and you could break it in, down into all the minutia of it and be like, was it all started by this thing that I was like, woke up one day and was like, fuck it, I'm changing everything? Or was it just like all meant to happen, right? I think. <laughs> My thinking sound. <laughs> it's very similar to your Valsalva sound. <laughs> how do you think I think? Yeah. I mean, how do you think I think? How do you think I think, therefore I am? <laughs> uh, I, if I had to guess, I think it's a mix of all of it. I think there's... If you're buried in shit, it's hard to dig your way out mm-hmm. uh, in terms of circumstance. Like if you're born in fucking Ghana... Mm-hmm. Or India, it's probably going to be pretty hard because there's so many people and such a disparage, disparity between rich and poor. And it's going to be a, hot, a lot harder than if you're like born in America or Europe or someplace that's a little bit more well-to-do. Mm-hmm. It's going to be harder to dig yourself out from some third world country. So I guess you're kind of fucked in that way if you're born somewhere like that. And you know what I think is a bigger tragedy is when you – when you start in like a low place, what you know, whatever it is, and then you work your way out into like a better plane of existence, it's like you did it, but you never thought that making it out wouldn't really matter, you know? Um, yeah, because it's all. I mean, because <laughs> the hustle and bustle never stops. Well, also like uh, Wallace Stevens said, 
you know, Wallace Stevens, the poet, he said, uh, we all live in the mind. Yeah. That means <laughs> it's whatever you make of it, right, Alan? I guess so, yeah. I mean, I live in my head a lot. <laughs> now, do you think, and I've heard people discuss this. <laughs> Sorry, I had to clear my throat. <laughs> okay, Al Pacino. <laughs> Uh, uh, I've heard people talk about this in jail. Uh, you're, you might be in jail, but you got, you're got you free in the mind, man. Right, Alan? You've heard that, right? We've all heard that. Yeah. Yeah, I've been in seventh grade. Exactly, bro. <laughs> I've been in, you know, detention. <laughs> I too but my was, mind is free. ISS, right? Yeah. I, too, was a prison guard, John. <laughs> Uh, well, um, one of our favorite rock and roll heroes, Alan. We discussed him many mm. times on this show. Uh, one of the great contributors to the annals of rock and roll, or annals, depending on how you like how you like it. Uh, <laughs> Gary Glitter. Oh, uh, oh, he's a pop pedo, and he's seventy nine, and he tells prison pals. Prison pals, he believes he'll die in jail after losing his latest parole bid. For those who don't know, this is the guy that made the Hay song, right? Mm -hmm. Usually here at football games. Can we get any way we can get that music? Hey! Hey! And the breakdown's like. Sounds like we don't even need it. We do need it, Alan. This is an excuse to listen to it. Well, I know you objected like last week when I sent another Gary Glitter song that had the exact same drum beat, but just a different. A different <laughs> arrangement of things, and you're like, no, it has to be rock and roll part hey. one, two, or three. <laughs> what is there I, even a three? I loved in that picture, there he is. looked like Dollar Store Elvis Presley. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, on the YouTube. Yeah. This is the worst cover of rock and roll I've ever heard. Been a long time since a rock and roll. <laughs> it's not even the same beat or notes. You're like, what the fuck? Uh, so essentially, he was he had he tried to have an appeal, right? Was that what was going on? A parole bid. He yeah. tried to get parole and he was denied. So he's gonna uh, be staying in there, dude. How fucking dangerous are you? How bad are your crimes? <laughs> hey! hey! <laughs> They're just rounding the corner because some guy's got him bent over. Hey! hey! <laughs> Dude, he is fucking. <laughs> he's 79 and he's such a fucking ghoul. They can't let him out. Fucking 79. When you're 79, you can't molest any. Well, you probably could. There'd be because you you find some way because you're a molester. Yeah, you start but, becoming more aggressive when you're less pretty. You know. <laughs> 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 you're the prison guard. It just guard. doesn't come easy anymore, John. <laughs> you're the prison guard. You're like, I hope I'm as molesting as you are when I'm that age. <laughs> wow, do you see what he's done? He's put up some real numbers. <laughs> <laughs> no. Why and why has no one bashed his skull in with a fucking rock? Hey. <laughs> you would think Whitey Bulger got his. I mean It kinda <laughs> looks like Whitey Bulger. Now that you mention, well, isn't he in like a Vietnamese prison or is he in like a British prison? What's what's going on? Where's where's he been held? Let's see. Scroll down. This is from the Irish Sun. The Irish Sun, the one you never see because it's always hidden by the fucking clouds. I love um, how they call him a serial sex offender. Well, because he kept fucking doing it. <laughs> he just kept fucking doing he it. He went to a place where they're kind of okay with doing that. A little more and relaxed. He did it so much that they're like, hey. We understand shit happens here, but you're fucking bending the rules. Like, like we can't, you can't keep massaging the rules to the point where you keep massaging the people, dog. Exactly. <laughs> Seven-time molesting champion, dude. He'll be 87 by the time his sentence ends. He'll be fine. Yeah, he'll, he'll still be alive. Years. Yeah. At that point, he should be pretty good at making hot... Hot Cheetos mixed with, you know, ramen. <laughs> He's going to be making some gourmet shit. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know you could put boiling water in a hot Cheetos bag, John? No, that's a prison thing, right? It's use very the... much a prison thing. Wow. <laughs> you could use, like, ramen noodles <laughs> as a pizza crust. Use some, uh, you know, Slim Jims as some pepperoni and some yeah. ketchup mm -hmm. with some, like, uh, what, do they, what do they use? Cum. Come? Yeah. Yeah, as the cheese. 
You could, you could shred the uh, uh, let's see Slim here. Jims for bacon bits. You know? Where is he? Let's see where he is. What do you mean? You know, he's dressed... <laughs> are you looking... Is this when he was initially arrested? Because he's dressed really, like, fairly yeah, that's decent probably his, right here. Yeah, that's probably his, like, original booking photo or yeah. something like that. Um, He's been prison. Where does it say? I was going to say, if you, if you can dress like that in prison, lock me away right now, dude. <laughs> if they have uh, Burger King cheese sticks there, I'm fucking down, bro. Have you guys had the Burger King cheese sticks? No. I don't think I have. <laughs> Fucking amazing, bro. Don't, I mean, the, mari the marinara sauce. Marinara sauce is never good from fast food places. Uh, so I would skip the marinara sauce. You guys like marinara sauce? I like Murnar's Trench Sauce. Oh, Murnar's Trench Sauce. Yeah. <laughs> like a little au jus. Au jus. <laughs> Ellen, do you oh, like. It's in England. This is an English prison. Alan, okay. uh, thanks for doing the research. Appreciate yeah. you. But more importantly, do you like uh, tr do you like tr marinara trench sauce or <laughs> marinara what sauce? <laughs> marinara trench sauce. Oh, or do you like uh, smegma? Or would you rather have um... some crustables? Oh, there was another one I missed. God damn it! How do you feel about marinara sauce? <laughs> oh, au jus. Au jus. <laughs> but au jus. <laughs> uh, it's good when they fucking remember to give you the juice. Oh, yeah, right. And when they forget, then it's like, why did I have a French dip if there's nothing to dip? And you're like, I like a I like a the juice. I like it the juice. <laughs> you like it the juice? Uh, so England, I thought he was in Thailand. Did they they like extradited, extradited him. him. Uh, yeah, because uh, regular dieting him what didn't uh, suffice. Gotcha. So they had to do it some more. Wait, you're telling me you can molest someone and get free travel? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, they saw his eyebrows, and they're like, we'll fly you for free. Look mm -hmm. at those fucking things. And I mean, they're already flying off his face, dude, man. He has, like, zero eyebrow left. They're almost <laughs> drawn on. Basically tattooed. Oh, I'm poor Gary Glitter. <laughs> <laughs> you feel bad for him? <laughs> he was railroaded. Uh, he like he's supposed to be released in like, you know, seven years. Oh, only seven years? When he's 85. Wouldn't that be great if he got out and he tripped over a curb and just fucking died? <laughs> 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 he just like takes just, his first just, step out of prison. <laughs> just million dollar baby onto the curb. <laughs> Did you guys ever see that video of, it was like in Ghana or someone some place like that, but these two dudes were fighting outside of a bar, and this one guy, like, pushed, punched this other guy, and literally, he just stumbled and hit his head on the parking block, and his neck twisted at an angle that it should not twist to, and he was dead. Dead. Did you guys ever see that video? No, but can we? <laughs> I wish I had the link. <laughs> After you watch one beheading video, you want to watch everything else. Oh, Alan, how do you feel about beheading videos? You love them, right? But I feel better about it than urethral sounding videos. <laughs> <laughs> I know those are pretty hard to watch. Right? Yeah, those are intense. <laughs> What's with the piercing in the in the gooch? Why do people get their gooch pierced? And why is there so many uh, such a bacteria laden area? Yeah, why is there such lax uh, rules for anal warts? Obviously, you don't have an owner fans. Have what? Oh, obviously, you don't have an OnlyFans. No, it doesn't seem worth it. Mm. Is there, what do you just, it, does it specifically say you have to sign away your dignity in the OnlyFans? <laughs> I, I, I don't judge them because I sold feet pics to someone recently. Hey, I have a couple girlfriends on OnlyFans too. I know what I'm, I, that's, <laughs> that's a fine way to, uh, how do you say, Support a small Subsidize business. Subsidize your relationship needs. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Where you're lacking at home, just uh, get online. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's only fans, you know? So it's a, it's a lot different. It's not like these girls give a fuck about you. It's just like, hey, paying to masturbate to them. Yeah. Sounds like a fine thing to me. It's a brilliant business model. America! America's real, folks. Mm hmm Alan, America's real. I'm real. <laughs> Are you real? Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Are Sometimes you a real it's, American? It's hard to tell if things are real or fake. 
William Wheeler. Uh, and so maybe we'll put it to you. I'm going to close this door real quick. Is that you got I'm gonna it? Tell her to shut the fuck oh, up. Oh, I don't know if I would do that. Oh. Uh, His wife's out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, Bonobo. She's his first wife. Mm-hmm. I was going to say, uh, Dan Rascone, he's been popping up at the open mics recently. That's what I heard. It's great. I told him we had to share a bathroom together. Next open mic, we, we hung out. Mm-hmm. So it should happen soon, you know? Yeah. Um, real or fake? Real or we're fake. We're going to talk about how, because we're... Oh, is it... Oh, no! Oh, no! What the f- First of all, these people need to go to therapy way more than I do, okay? If you care this much about sto- sports, you gotta reevaluate your life. She starts cleaning the TV that was just broken. <laughs> oh, it's his house. Yeah, what did that guy say to him? What did he do? He was celebrating because... Uh, you know, uh, whoever won the Super Bowl but he just won the celebrated Super Bowl, and that was it, right? Yeah, because the Chiefs won. Well, all right, yeah. Let's let's look at the replay. Okay, a, a simple little let's go, and then he smashes his own. Then the other oh. guy smashes his own TV, and this guy's wearing a Mahomes jersey, mm-hmm. <laughs> and the guy who literally just fucking defeated his team. I'm gonna throw a penalty on. Uh, Why attack the guy? I, I'm, I'm gonna throw <laughs> throw a flag on number forty nine. He is uh, offsides right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's been lifted up like a child. <laughs> <laughs> an that man. alone takes away anything he was trying to do. So, what do you think? You think this is? I'm uh, fuck you up! I'm fuck you up! His voice is cracking all hard. <laughs> it's getting real excited. A man child, dude. He's literally a man child right now. Uh, so, so far, based on this initial viewing, what do you think? Real or fake? Uh, based off people I've <coughs> met in real life, this is very much real. I know these things happen, but I'm. it almost seems like it's like when with the Christmas stuff, you expect the Grinch videos, people tearing down trees. With, like, uh, Halloween candy, you expect <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel to have parents telling their kids they ate all their candy. I feel like this kind of feels like it falls into that category of like the reaction you expect during every single Super Bowl because yeah. every single year these videos come out and we're somehow True. surprised. Mm-hmm. Well, I did hear people say that they thought it might have been fake because maybe they're getting a new TV, mm-hmm. but I was like, that's a custom fit TV. Mm-hmm. I mean, 55 inches. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a standard TV size. Yeah, but I mean, to like their wall and shit doesn't seem like that was easy to mount, right? Look at that shit. Well, I mean, no, it, but if it you're looks getting a replacement, yeah, yeah, it's centered. So if you're uh, if you're upgrading to something that's a little bit How? bigger, then you're probably fine <clears throat> up until like a, a seventy five or seventy seven. Yeah, inch. but this fits specifically here, or is it like? Oh no, no, no. It's... This is the front, and then there's obviously some sort of anchor in this little stone or this little facade thing. Yeah, right? and yes. the anchor could hold a bigger TV. Mm-hmm. And it's also got a fucking fireplace attached. Yeah, see, so the TV is undersized some, for the fireplace. Yeah, some backlighting. This is a nice setup. It's right not here. undersized. What? You want it to fucking go halfway over the fire? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> <laughs> fucking great idea. <laughs> fair yeah. enough. Fair enough, Alan. Uh, Alan, you, so what's your final? Yeah, I think real or fake or I don't know. I also saw an opinion that this might have been like at an Airbnb or something like that. And I could believe something like that being the case and it being real, but, uh, but the guy saying this was card. it was his house. So I don't know. Yeah, I you mean must... maybe I, I want to say it's real, but I'm like I said, man, we expect these videos to come out every year regardless of who wins what. So we... if this happens at an Airbnb. They have your credit card, right? They just charge the fuck out of it, right? Yeah, and then you get banned off Airbnb, probably. The host? Why should they do that? The Not host the, just hosted no, the guest. Them. Oh, or you bring in your old shitty TV. No, oh, like put your that up on the wall. Tube, mm-hmm. your little tube TV. <laughs> you put it in there, all fucking smooth. Yeah. <laughs> Some mo how know how. That's what I'd use. I've never heard that term You've before. Never heard no. that? <laughs> I'm also looking at the age of everyone in the video. 30s. I'd say 20s. Early mid-20s. 
with yeah. this much money? Exactly, bro. No, these are people in their 30s. That dude... Uh, well, I did act like that in my 30s. Okay. <laughs> you wanted to do this to Dan Rascone for calling you a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to look at him <laughs> and see what happened from there. Like, oh, hey, wait, no, fuck that. <laughs> my first reaction wasn't good enough. Does this guy, he looks like the guy from Scrubs. <laughs> <laughs> you think so? That, those are it, nice shoes. Look at those fucking fly ass shoes. That's yeah. Nice. They match the hoodie. Yeah. You know. Do you think Why? he's gonna buy the new Trump shoes? <laughs> <laughs> Why is this guy hiding his face too? Might be. We might be watching the beginning of a villain, dude. Oh, this is his origin. This story. is his origin story. This is how. This is the beginning of the end for the NFL. Look, why is this guy's face never shown? Though? Well, his hood was up from the beginning. Yeah, but oh, all right, but I right, think that's right the there. that's the least suspicious part of the video. Don't you think the hood would fall down? I think this is AI generated. <laughs> you think, think John Quayle smells a conspiracy? Oh all no, you saw him. You saw him. Yep, boom. That's a man. That's a guy. <laughs> Don't assume his gender. <laughs> so fair. Yeah, that's an individual. Yeah, I'm up. I feel it's real. I feel based. This guy couldn't react that way. Um, this guy caught him pretty solid, but seems like this guy, if he was really outraged, he might swing on someone else. But it might want to be one of those things where he's making a big show. He might know. be winning some points. Might be his redemption arc. His origin story. More than his there's team. so many things happening at play right now. There sure are. Mm-hmm. Relationships okay. being broken, relationships beginning. <clears throat> so yeah. it's two real, one fake. This this is a main quest for some, a side quest for others. <laughs> <laughs> and then also, I voted AI. I voted AI. This is all AI, which would fall under fake but, or real, because AI made it, so it's a creation, so it's real. Okay. Uh, let's watch from the beginning again. Is yes, that cool? Please. What were you gonna say, Will? I don't remember. All right. All right. Oh, that Let's was look. quite the play, though. <laughs> was there cocaine? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I don't understand. This TV's destroyed, oh, and she's trying to clean it. Is he walking back in the house? Yep. <gasps> There's a baby there. Oh, that was a baby. Holy fuck, poor baby. That's at least six months of uh, therapy. Damn. <laughs> real as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go real on that real one. Real as fuck. Okay, that's that's fair enough. Uh, Damn. To our second Damn. submission. I just don't care. If right. there's a baby there. <laughs> is this this is real? So the 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 ground uh the the, the bridge that they're walking on they're LED screens that just. Form cracks. Yeah, it's meant to scare the funny. shit out of people. Mm-hmm. But I don't you aren't you guys thinking the same thing that someone could fall over because they get so freaked out? It or they could ha- happen. Right? What? <laughs> <laughs> At first it looks like ice breaking. Yeah, yeah. You know? Someone's doing their all these people are doing their best sub zero impressions. Oh, Definitely not sub zero. I could, yeah, this you, feels like a huge liability. Couldn't you see yourself <laughs> dropping your phone over the the fucking gorge if you're trying to do a video with it hanging over? Yeah, and there must be speakers too. Oh yeah, most definitely, dude. <laughs> like, what if this you're there is... with your baby, and, and you're like, I, I, I love save that the baby. I love that these people out. aren't looking at people around them. Yeah. Oh, this is great, dude. Look at that old person. Are either of you guys in somebody's will and you want to speed up the process? <laughs> Take them here. Do they have a heart condition? Take them here. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> <That's> fucking horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know if you're going to make rent this month? Take your grandma here. Oh, now that yeah. one might be fake. And it's funny because it, 
once it cracks, it does look like it's very clearly like not passed not through at all. Yeah, it's just like a projection of what the ground is supposed to look like way down yeah. there. Because mm. the glass would break a certain way, it's not the same break every step. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm it's layered. Yeah, Ugh, yeah, no, that's real. Oh man, Jesus I Christ. fucking love it. Yeah, they, is, are there any good comments there? Are you able to look at the comments in this? No, this was downloaded. Oh, gotcha. But yeah, I mean, those type of high bridges are scary Where? enough. Like, they're enough of a thrill because you're just up there. Like, I got terrified walking on the uh, the bridge over the fucking Taos Gorge. Oh, dude, it's fucking. You nice. feel that shit moving, and it's just like, yeah, no, I think uh, I think I made it like a third of the way to the middle, and I was like, nah, I gotta go back. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude, I'm terrible with heights. Where is this bridge located? Uh, New York. <laughs> so it looks like Kansas. Check the chart. Kansas. Um, it's I'm, Denver. I'm it's only. I mean, this sounds fucked up, but this seems like a very Chinese thing to do, just because they're like <laughs> all about that fucking crazy humor. Yeah, there, there's a billion of them. They're like, we gotta thin out the herd a little. Watch, it'll be Japanese, and people are like, oh, how dare you? <laughs> I don't know. Whoever these people are, they enjoy stuff like that. <laughs> um, what about uh, so I guess we'd all agree real here except for maybe the last guy where he's all ah whoa <laughs> um, what about the next one don't we have one more to cap it off Alan Ooh. I believe so holy fuck bro I almost just went in this on ramp there's oh, yeah. no signs blocking it off and I thought I was fucking high there's a car that passes a through it this is very much real it's a puddle Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, way to bust it. <laughs> <laughs> Watch, this guy's coming. There's a guy coming behind me. Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. Yeah. Oh, is he going to fucking go? It should have insert Razor Ramon right there. But like, I, know, I know what the mind is trying to tell mm -hmm. you what's happening here, but why would that be Just the case? Fuck it. Holy shit. Oh, it's water. <laughs> yeah, I am high. I'm not actually high, but holy fuck, bro. It looks like a pit, doesn't it? <laughs> Shit, water. it it's almost like a cartoon Mother pit. Fucker. It doesn't even really. If, it's if not so much that it's a pit, it just looks like the road splits off into two yeah. Yeah, and we levels. Like that a, would be totally like unnatural. Split. Yeah, yeah. It, that's like a pit you would find in a dream, most assuredly. <laughs> yeah, it's but a if you think thing, that yeah. is real, you probably think your parents are real too, okay? <laughs> Well, also, Just drive through. I feel like <laughs> with how prevalent sinkhole stories are these days, you would be like, <clears throat> ah! <laughs> you would be like, <laughs> you would be like, uh, I'm not going to fucking chance it. Like your brain would be like, no, that's a fucking sinkhole, bro. Yeah. It happens all the time. If you drive through it, you're going to find yourself down below. <laughs> <laughs> Call back What's... to another Potential Problems episode. <laughs> Yeah, you used to watch Down Below. Oh, that was Hell Below. Oh, Hell Below. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta like the effort, though. Thank you. <laughs> That's for sure. What you got going on over there, Alan? Uh, just confusing <laughs> fucking texts coming in for some unrelated shit. I haven't had shows. those Sorry. before. Trust me, my friend. I've had my share of confusing texts. Um, oh, dogs yeah. get confused sometimes. I think dog confusion is hilarious because you're like, these guys, look how cute they are. Like when they cock their little heads to the side, they're like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what's Taco Bell? <laughs> One time uh, I brought this, uh, this is horrible. This is a number of years ago. I was cohabitating with someone and I brought this, uh, and we had a dog and I brought this uh, person over who was not the person I was cohabitating with. And when me and her started to have relations, my dog was like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Dude, it was fucking nuts. <laughs> the dog knew that the, uh, this was not the person that's she... supposed to. Who, this is not the person whose pussy is supposed to be smelling up the room. <laughs> she knew that what we were doing was not, uh, uh, you know, kosher. Is, is, the that dog... how, is that how I look when I'm mounted? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Later on, was the dog just trying to communicate any way possible that something had happened? Just, the dog but went... nothing was getting through because the dog was just like, 
like curling up and just acting funny. The dog went and hid, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> like all dogs do during domestics. <laughs> no, after. Oh yeah. Well, no, the dogs. You know, the dog was my ride or die, but she thought she looked at me differently after that. <laughs> Uh, but I love dog confusion under uh, innocent circumstances. Uh, Alan, can you think of a moment your dog's been confused? Under innocent circumstances? Yeah! Um, my high-pitched noises, things like that. Uh, when I was trying, early on, when I was trying to play her, like, coyote noises to see if she would respond to it, she would just kind of... No, she wouldn't even do that. She wouldn't pay attention, but you find out... like, hmm. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but you find out that uh, regular high-pitched sounds do it better than any animal sounds on a YouTube video would. Uh, what about... I think it's just because uh, you're not getting the whole dynamic range of audio with that. What about stuff on TV? Did she ever look at stuff on TV? Nah, not really. Okay. She could care less about that. We turn on Bluey if we're, uh, if we're gone for you a while. You needed the money. But... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like an Australian kids cartoon about dogs. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, Will, you ever have a confused dog? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think we've all been there before. <laughs> uh, and it's adorable most of the time when there's not cheating involved. Who doesn't love so, the Pink Panther? Uh, videos theme? like this, it... It's kind of <laughs> <laughs> where the bear walks out of frame and the dog's like, what the fuck? This is definitely proof animals have the same type of vision that we do to a degree, you know? And like it, they some and more than others. They think yeah. of how things move and they're like, oh, they went through there. So they must be on the other side, which is pretty fucking remarkable. Right. That's a smart. F- Look how fucking smart this some, dog is. There's a little bit of deductive reasoning going on. Mm-hmm. So if the bear you walk, gears are If you moving, walk this way, you must turning. be in the other room. Yeah. yeah, and the dog, the bear walks out of frame, and the dog walks into the next room to look for this motherfucker. <laughs> Where is he? <laughs> <it? laughs> Where did he go? Did he go? <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there's videos of, of people that have pet monkeys. They have a, a line that pops up on the screen. They fucking shit their pants because they think they're about to get eaten. It's great. <laughs> We used to have a uh, video of a monkey doing a dab, but apparently <laughs> that was too much. <laughs> People giving a, a chimpanzee a fucking dab I to know, inhale. Right? <laughs> and he was like, this chimpanzee used to smoke blunts, and then like they dabbed him up, and then they tried to offer him a blunt, and he was like, nah. Oh, good. <laughs> he actually shook his hand? Yeah. yeah. Was, oh. They're like, yo, here you go. He's like, <laughs> well, he was blazed as fuck. Just so yeah, I, dude. <laughs> oh, that fucking guy, <laughs> bro. So abusive. <laughs> it's got no idea what's going on. When the hell does this Must have happened like seven years ago. Right? Like you know, those dudes also like one day gave it shrooms. Oh, just because they're like, we're gonna help you bro. evolve. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna help you evolve right now. <laughs> he went over and fucking uh, got himself a phone and downloaded Joe Rogan after that. Immediately. Yeah. He's all, oh. <laughs> and they started the UFC. Oh. Yeah. And now Graham Hancock has one more follower. <laughs> um, how do you guys feel about that whole fucking Younger Dryest shit? You think it's plausible? I mean, it's What's plausible. That? Youngest but Dryest? How- younger Dryest younger fucking dryest? asteroid impact thing that melted fucking all of the... Uh, uh, the last of the ice age and basically flooded these great civilizations that have like flying ships and fuck machines and, <laughs> and all this advanced shit. Right, Alan? Glory holes galore. <laughs> glory holes with <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, glory holes that made your dick bigger. <laughs> you I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm here for it regardless if I want it or not. You know what I'm saying? It's just funny that it's like Okay, every academic thinks this guy's bullshit, but this guy's like, "What the academics? I know. They don't want to let me in. <laughs> they don't believe that I'm calling every Fucking one of asshole. their theories bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they don't accept me into the group. <laughs> I love how one asshole walks in and is like, "You're all assholes." It's like, no, you're the one guy. Like, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. It's plausible though, Alan. Don't you think? I think it's possible, but, I mean, other than they're just... I, when somebody is, like, on a hike and they have a revelation that a landscape feature looks a certain way because of a way that something else works on a different scale, 
that type of deductive reasoning where they're just like, so it must be this wild new theory <laughs> just bugs the shit out of me. Yeah. It's like this entire area looks like it could have been a floodplain. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what it must be. Something must have happened. Yeah. And people forget that logic is not objective truth. You no, know? it's feeling. Just... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> logic is not objective truth. Just because you can word something like a lawyer really, really well doesn't mean it's real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This dog looks like, um, oh, what's that dog from PBS that was... Marley and Me? Is that the one that died? Airbud? No, <laughs> the one from PBS. Was it Martha? Yes. Wishbone? No, Martha. Who's Who Martha? Martha the dog. And she was the alphabet dog. She swallowed alphabet soup and it traveled to her brain and then she learned to talk. You don't remember that one? Mm -mm. Martha, Martha, Martha the talking dog, I think. Oh, maybe. it was a cartoon? <laughs> Yes. Is that what it is? Martha Speaks. Oh, there we oh. go. Martha Speaks. See, look, she looks exactly like that dog. Oh, no, she has rabies. <laughs> <laughs> well, they thought she had rabies. And they're like, oh, no, it's a wild dog. But she's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I would definitely recommend a Martha Speaks to watch someday. It's <laughs> okay. fucking amazing. Uh, this dog would watch Martha Speaks, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, did you guys hear anything about uh, uh, Nganu fighting um, Anthony Joshua? Did you hear anything about that? No. I could have sworn I saw something like that. Let me look it I, up. I saw they were announcing an MMA fight for Nganu, but... A Anthony Joshua started in boxing, right? March 8th. Oh, really? March so right 8th. around the corner. Yeah. That Saudi Arabia. Of course. Those fucking Saudis, bro. They I love how they have so much money. They like get all the fights made that would never be made before because they're willing to pay them like a fucking billion dollars each. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's insane. They're, and they're like, oh yeah, I have nine billion more where that came from. Yeah. They they own almost all the physical and conceptual money in the world, you know? Every month they make that much. And they're like, Yeah, that's why I'll never no matter what I do, short of just you know, just killing myself, I'll always have money, no matter what. Mm -hmm. I can never run out of money. It's a dope life. <clears throat> uh, to an extent. But I'm sure it'd be hard to trust people, right? So, yeah. Well, when everyone's doing good, everyone's doing good, you know? Anthony Joshua is the current heavyweight champ? Uh, is... He was, and then uh, he got beat, I believe. What does it say? What does his page say? Does it? I mean, the Wikipedia page, or well, this is the DAZN page. What does the DAZN page say? Uh, March eighth. Are you down to watch that? That should be a good fight, man. Quite possibly, depending on the time. Yeah. And well, this is going to be an MMA fight, right? Oh, it'll be earlier in the day because it's Saudi Arabia. It'll be like a ten in the morning fight. This is a boxing fight. Because Anthony Joshua would get fucking tuned up if it had gone to fucking MMA'd <laughs> yeah. him, dude. And basically, any boxer, because they don't have a ground game, would get tuned up by any MMA fighter who has some decent skill, man. He'd probably... I The MMA guy would probably use a wrestling move with that, without saving the guy, you know? He'd, Nagano would probably tombstone him, for real. Now, I think this is... Uh, there's more upside for Nganu. For this oh, fight. Oh, yeah. I mean, Anthony mm -hmm. Joshua is very likely, I think, uh, based on what I've seen from him, that he could lose this. He could get f knocked the fuck out mm -hmm. by this dude. Didn't Naganu get actual training from Mike Tyson? Oh, yeah. For uh, his Fury fight, I think so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's not looking good for Anthony right now, dude. Not yeah. at all. But if he does beat him, holy shit, then he'll get a little bit more respect because. Because didn't he guys. lose to the that one Mexican boxer? That, he lost that, to Andy Ruiz, but Andy more Ruiz, recently, yeah. I think he lost twice to Alexander Usyk or somebody. Yeah, Ooh. and that's like Alexander Usyk is looking to kick. T He's like the guy talking shit to Tyson Fury, and Tyson Fury is like, "Oh, I might fight you if I get a chance to." <laughs> Do you like the eggs? <laughs> trying to see what the betting odds are. Uh, <clears throat> Plus 470 for Nganu. Really? Joshua n minus 550. So they're thinking Joshua's going to get knocked out. Is that what those odds mean? I think so. I would. Uh, that would be my prediction. Yeah. At this point, I'd put all my money on Nganu. Yeah. It's, it's one of those things where one guy's been doing the specific 
art form for a long time, and one guy's been doing stuff where he had to split his mind up and yeah, had to learn all that new. But shit. he almost out punched the fucking one of the. Uh, if he was a world champion or almost a world champion, Tyson Fury. I yeah, mean, but they, Tyson Fury is not exactly the best with like footwork and maneuvering. I don't know about Anthony Joshua and how his footwork is, but I, uh, if he's able to, you know, manage distance a little bit more consciously than Fury, then I think there's a, entirely a. A good chance that you know Ngannou goes with a wild, heavy punch and gets countered. Well, styles do make fights, but I, uh, based on what I've seen, I think just Joshua is kind of like one of those lower, those top tier, lower tier champions. Gotcha. You know, like a, uh, not quite a Hulkster or a Randy Savage, but more maybe like uh, Ultimate Mr. Warrior. <laughs> Ultimate. Well, he was because they propped a... him up. They're, <laughs> they're like, he's not a good wrestler at all. He's just, <laughs> he's just big. Well, have you seen, Will, you've probably seen this short where, or something close to it, where it's like uh, showing all the times that Warrior never fucking sold the move for Dude. any other wrestler because he was like, oh, I'm getting oh. all coked up, yeah. even though that's <laughs> Hogan's no, thing. No selling everything. There, <laughs> there's a video of him no selling the pedigree from Triple H. Yeah. Just the, gets up 10 seconds after. That, the, um, I think a leg drop from Hulkster, and then also, mm-hmm. oh, I forget what else it was. There was one other one. That was like someone else's finishing move, and he just gets up and fucking. Just, it's like, dude, totally what the that f- fucking asshole, you know? But he didn't do that at his funeral. <laughs> <laughs> didn't didn't get up sell that, that one, one yeah. asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that Road Warrior Hawk would also no sell every pile driver in his career for whatever really? reason. He would just get up right after every pile driver. I you got to be careful with those pile drivers too. That seems like you don't see that too many too often, right? Yeah. Anymore. Like that's not a thing in wrestling too often. Right? No, especially after the the Stone Cold Steve Austin thing. Yeah. Uh, that... Hemorrhoids, right? <laughs> <laughs> he got hemorrhoids from doing the pile driver. <laughs> <laughs> no, he he broke his neck, right? Uh, yeah. Who was it? Was it Owen Hart? Owen slammed him down. Hart. Gosh, uh, I hope that guy's doing well. Yeah, I know. Thoughts and prayers. <laughs> Thoughts. Love you, miss you. Love you, miss you. <laughs> Live, laugh, love. No. That's, that's horrible. That fucking clip, bro. That fucking clip, it all comes of, down of him to actually... one clip. Oh, no, no, no. The the harness safety clip yeah. for Owen Hart. <laughs> you not, actually not a video it? clip. No, dude, it comes down to him basically, I guess, not clipping it all the way, right? Yeah. Because he was trying to get like a speedy uh, like uh, right. exit off of the, the hook. Mm-hmm. So maybe it didn't clamp down all the way. And then when his weight was on it, it was just like, <laughs> right? Is that what you read? Were you there? I was there. Okay. I was like seven years old. I was there, man. Really? Did yeah. you? You're yeah. like, meet your hug, I'll fall. The <laughs> 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 boy, boy's always falling down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and no. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> The brew Buezo's wet now. (laughs) 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 Fucking stupid. (laughs) Some child watching a man die. (laughs) When he died, his soul went into me. (laughs) The dad's just like, see, I told you this was bullshit. (laughs) (laughs) And and without missing a beat, Dad, is this what it was like in Nam? (laughs) I want to go in the army now. And dad gets home and is like, the mom's like, oh, how'd the show go? He's like, ah, one of them queers fell from my rack. <laughs> not much excitement as I could get there. <laughs> the wrestler's crying was more emotion than I wanted to pay for. <laughs> oh, boy. At least Vince McMahon, you know, kept his reputation all these years later. Yeah. Yeah. Thoughts and prayers. He's probably doing really well Thoughts right now. Thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers. Do you think um, he's going to high-five Gary Glitter in person? Uh, <laughs> he might. Uh, plug Ola, plug Ola. William Wheeler, what you got coming up? Um, Dropping I, any new stickers soon? I am getting a new batch of stickers soon, so if you catch me out in the wild uh, in more ways than one because I'm hiding myself everywhere, I can give you a, a sticker, and you can be a proud owner of some art. Ooh. So can, I'm doing that. Still doing Dinner Detective. No, oh, nice. You know, get your tickets for a show. I am running a new open mic room over at Z Lounge the first Ooh. two Sundays every month. Is that this Sunday? Uh, the uh, the next one will be the first two Sundays in March. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. We just nice. had to get in the pipeline for the scheduling over there. 
So Very good. Hopefully we can do every where's, Sunday. Where's that? Do you know it's inside the lobby of Hotel Zaz on Knob Hill. Oh, yeah. yeah Hotel yeah. Zaz. Gotcha. Yeah, just make sure you knock on the banana three times, then the wall opens up and you oh, go inside. Tug on the banana three times, <laughs> the lotion comes out. Yeah. <laughs> they told me three times, and I they had to get me off. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, nice, nice. Well, I'm definitely going to check that out soon, mm-hmm. my friend. And then soon I'll be, tonight or tomorrow, I'll be updating the Albuquerque Comedy website with oh, all the good. open mics and hopefully some shows. I want to grab a couple comics because I, I was... My master plan was to have everyone just log into the site so they can post their flyers onto the website. I think we have too many morons to do that. Yes. <laughs> so uh, I figured out I can have I love some... you. Love you. Miss you. <laughs> Thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers. There's some people that uh, I feel like would be diligent with doing it so I can make a couple more admins to help me out with the workload. Cause nice. There's too many fucking shows happening, dude. There's a Albuquerque lot. is in a golden age right now in comedy and mm-hmm. the local scene. That's and true. on the pro scene, we got Casadas now. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. crazy. Joe Casada is opening mm-hmm. his own comedy place. Joe Casada <laughs> stealing <laughs> AJ. I don't believe that. Joke. I say write better jokes. What do you think about that? Thoughts and prayers. Alan's got some stuff coming up. He'll talk about it sometime. But I <laughs> want to tell you that I won't be doing any gigs really, but I will wow. be uh, at. Um, yeah, I'm just going to give up gigs. Okay. Are you just focusing on life so you don't turn into the Joker? Exactly. It's yeah. important to feel all the emotions. Kids. I'm not going to do any gigs, but I will be at uh, at Tractor Brewery Ooh. on Friday, the first Friday of the month. Of this year? Of this, this month. next month, coming in March, first Friday of the month, I will be there. There might be a contest going on. I don't know if I'll do time. <laughs> but I'm a <laughs> <laughs> asshole. <laughs> so maybe come out, check it out, and we'll see if they we'll see if I do some jokes if I tell my stories. In that case, I'll be at the Kiva with Tom Segura. Oh nice. Tom why is everybody why are all these videos saying that people are turning on Tom and uh Bert? Bert? I have no idea. Is it dude. just jealousy like everything? Maybe. Like people eventually turned on um uh, like how people eventually turned on uh, Dalia and uh, one of those things where you die a hero, live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Yeah. Although yeah. I watched Dalia's interview recently, I'm like a huge douchebag. I don't know. I've never, frankly, never liked him. Mm-hmm. And like, and I'm not just saying that because, like, we're seeing this after all the stuff that <laughs> happened. I said it before and during. Me too. Mm-hmm. I said, "Fuck that guy." Yeah, Put I don't in believe knees. in. I don't believe in toxic positivity. You know what I'm saying? Me neither. I like to look at things from the Fuck other that. side of the equation. Yeah, fuck him in the knees, uh, but be positive when you fuck him in the knees. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Potential problems podcast. Everybody, uh, we'll see you soon. I'm sure. Uh, Alan, anything to add? No, I'm good. Sorry. And then we're good, buddy. I love you, baby. We'll see you next time. Bye. Later, y'all. Let's make love. Yeah.